Y'all know I got to do this because I'm trying to keep some time moving fast. But how are y'all doing this beautiful, beautiful Saturday? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I have to um, get y'all's opinion about something. I had to bring it to the family. Y'all know when I get stuck with a few things, um, you know, and when people try to make me feel like I'm the one that's crazy, then I try to... <laughs> I try to stay uh, 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 as open as possible, but when my spirit won't move, then that means that's exactly what I feel inside, and I can't be shaken. I can't be moved. And um, sometimes you can see the generational uh, distance, or sometimes you just see the situation that people don't want you to tell them anything. Or suggest anything, even though what they could be doing could be totally wrong. And if that's the case, I always say, do not come around me with you with your bad, untrained children. Because Everything in life has to know rules, boundaries, and limitations, okay? And if I can I can take my dog in some people's houses and my dog will sit down and wait until I'm gone, it's time to leave, and he is in better behavior mode than a lot of these children that I see running around here. My dog knows rules, boundaries, and limitations unlike some of these children out here. And as quiet as it's kept, some of these young parents, because they've never been taught that. Now, yeah, I know this, this is kind of harsh, and that's what it's going to be today, but I got to do it. So I, I want to know something, and I just want to take the pulse of the family. Would you be or would you not be uncomfortable if your sister or your um, daughter, if you're a guy, or even your friend, met a guy seven months ago, and your friend that met him has three children, maybe four children, it doesn't really matter, but the majority of them are little girls. Uh, and... One child in particular is sitting in between and all playing, moving a, uh, and all in between the male's legs, the man's legs. Okay, I can talk about this now. Now, how many of y'all think that's appropriate? Some of y'all might not think nothing is wrong with that and think I'm just a big old freak because I'm bringing that out. And if that is what you think, then... That's why we have such a problem with these families and our families and bringing molesters and things around our children. Now, I'm not saying that every person is a molester that does that. What I am saying is children should be taught rules, boundaries, and limitations. And the first thing I would teach my little girl is where her boundaries are in terms of in between somebody's legs. And to me, it's a no-brainer, but it just mind-boggles me about how many people see, think it's okay. Oh, uh, it's okay. That's his mama friend. That's the mama friend. Um, You know the little girl. He cool. Ain't nothing wrong with him. <laughs> I know people who have let people who have sexual 
who have listed as sexual or put like this, sexual predators in around their children. They have to sign up as a registered sex offender, but you got them around your children and you don't think anything is wrong with that. Somebody help me make this make this sense to my people or anybody for that matter. Because I'm just about the kids right now. I'm not even about your desperate ass wanting somebody around you so bad that you're willing to sacrifice your children in this particular way. And then you get angry. The lowest, situ long, earliest situation I've heard about is a grown man um, uh, uh, making a little girl four years old have oral sex with him, three years old. Making him have or making her have oral sex with him. I'm not saying this is what was happening in this particular situation, but there was a mother in the home, and this is the the stepfather in the home, huh? Because when children have not been taught rules, boundaries, and limitations, and you ashamed to teach your child rules, boundaries, and limitations, then that means they're almost out here like ships without a sail. They're out here like boats without rudders. I'm not going to ever, ever, and maybe I'll get into the conversation um, in depth on my Patreon because I still want to encourage y'all to join. I'm just letting you know that if you're one of these parents that don't think is nothing, then you need to take a course in child development or you need to see how the brain, beta brain works with children or you should understand what happens when you don't train your children. It's just like if you don't train your dog. And I'm not trying to compare children with dogs. I'm trying to compare the applicable dynamic of setting rules, boundaries, and limitations. Check it out. Listen to it. Because it's very important. At the end of the day, I don't want to see no more broken women. And I don't want to see no more broken men. And it all starts with rules, boundaries, and limitations, and not, not thinking um, that anybody and everybody can be a molester. And everybody ain't cool. And everybody's mind is not in the gutter because they bring out to you your children or that child is, 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 is not displaying healthy boundaries. I want to know what y'all think, because this is a little personal, I know. Rules, boundaries, and limitations. Let's hear it.